You know what I feel like I looked like? Do you know what I feel like I looked like like today, Andrew? I look like a um, an actor from the seventies with like a mildly successful career. You look good. You look cool. I think I look cool. You look cool. You look very um, mysterious. You know, I bought this uh, jacket in uh, in Japan one day. Mm. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I know since everyone's curious, they're barking at the hills. They want to know where is my Scotty Sire used shirt that I bought off of his. I said Depop. I was wrong. It was a uh, Poshmark. Poshmark. Everyone wants to know, where is it? Why isn't it on you? Well, here's the thing. I'm dumb and I accidentally messed up the order. Apparently I tried to cancel it or something. Something went wrong. It doesn't matter. The order got canceled. I don't have the shirt and I'll never have it. Mm -hmm. And so, Scotty, <laughs> if you're listening, <laughs> help me. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is the worst intro ever. <laughs> I don't know what I've, what's gotten into as me. As long as this creates the opportunity for when guests appear on this podcast, <laughs> for Scotty Sire to be on and the title to be called Scotty Sire Confronts Me About My Poshmark Order. Do you want to hold my little hand? Andrew, how are you feeling? I feel okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I spontaneously did a really... Weird, weird uh, haircut uh, on myself last night. Andrew, uh, audio listeners, Andrew has a buzzed sides of his head. Marvel fans, he's got the Hawkeye hair happening right now. I think it looks wonderful. <laughs> Video listeners, you're loving his haircut. You're tapping away. You're on the keyboard. I've never seen a more handsome man. And he did it himself. I can't do anything myself. I exclusively <laughs> used to cut my hair on my own. Really? I had like a pair of... Uh, yeah, legit clippers and stuff. Do I did that for like ten years. That 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 is so impressive. Do you know what I do every time I go and get my hair cut, Andrew? This is what this is how it goes every single time. You be the barber. I sit down in the chair. Oh yeah. Hey, how's it going? Let me put the little uh, caper on you. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Um. Okay. So what are we doing today? Uh. You know what? Honestly, uh, you're the professional. Do whatever you want. Well, uh, and then what's the follow up question? I don't know. They I, they they're quiet for about for about uh, two point five seconds, and they go. Well, you know, do you have a rough idea? And I go, I don't know. I don't want anything crazy. I said, don't yeah. give me a mohawk, but just do whatever you think would look good. I said, just something like yeah. nice and nice enough looking and traditional enough and whatever. I was like, you can buzz the sides off. You could not. You could do whatever. I'm just like, you know, don't give me like a like a like a. 80s character haircut like don't get silly with it but i was like just do whatever you think would look good it's a really good mentality i think yeah. i have and they, and they always do a good job and they go okay yeah. like very few have taken advantage of it and like done something lazy in fact i think that they kind of i don't know i just like it because and some have gone like they'll give that give me that reaction of like yeah whoa and i go it's hair who cares? It grows back. Like, I think what you want to do to my hair is going to look good. And yeah. a lot of them are moms. I have a lot of moms cutting my hair. You know, people with maternal instincts. And I think that's really beautiful because I think they like that. They go, you know what? I know what's best for you. Mm -hmm. And I say, yes, you do know what's best for me. Give me a haircut, mama. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> and then they call the police. And you're gently escorted out of the yeah. <laughs> Um I, I had to call the FBI on someone today. I, uh, I had a very contentious relationship with a haircut barber this was a whole saga for andrew i, I can't tell you it gave mo the, the stress that this gave andrew would be like if most people had like a car that was like breaking down on them every other week the stress that this uh barber gave andrew sawicki was wild and i you know what i said to you andrew i said why don't you just stop going to him and yeah. you're like no it's a loyalty thing i was like that is well here's interesting no, it's not so much a loyalty thing as it is a that's kind of the only place that i know of that i could get my hair cut yeah. And I can't go in there and ask for somebody else because I've gone to the guy one too many times for it to not be awkward when I have this other person cutting my hair. I would make eye contact. I would sit down in someone else's chair and make eye contact with him and go, sorry, Charlie, and throw stuff at him. <laughs> Weird reach of engaging the audience. Comment below the number of times <laughs> that you think you can get a haircut from somebody without it being awkward and random for you to get a haircut by somebody else who works at the same salon. Well, I walk into the same uh, the same Floyd's, which is a haircut place that I usually go to. I just walk in and go, uh, is, is that a chain elsewhere or just here in Los Angeles? I don't. I think it's I think it's a chain. Okay, I walk into a Floyd's. If anyone knows what that is, it's a little haircut place. Yeah. And uh, they, they, I just say, uh, hey, whoever's available. And, okay. and uh, I always see the same people who cut my hair and I go, oh, hello. Like, he, just pie. And he, they go, hi. Here's the thing, though. Yeah. I did something similar to that. I'm not going to say, because I don't want to dox the guy. I'm not going to say whether or not it was or wasn't a Floyd's. He lives at 3 West Avenue Elm. <laughs> that doesn't make any Someone sense. Someone Google that, and they're like, huh? Um, <laughs> it's like someone's address. It's like super important. Somebody <laughs> takes it. <laughs> <laughs> Obama shows up on television. I don't know why they dox me. Uh, <laughs> it was a very strange choice. Me and Malia. No, the thing is, is that I was, uh, what's the word? 
uh, not lied to. I was tricked. Fibbed. Ah. Oh, did a witch trick you? Eat this apple boy. Yes. That's another stupid suck. <laughs> that, was, that was almost the worst thing that we've ever tried to do. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm glad we're learning when to bail on bits. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. But I do think a lot about witches. No, I know. Shout out to all the witches. Oh, oh, yes. That's the coolest thing you've ever said. I do. Uh, we'll put a bookmark on the witches. Um, <laughs> the witches are like, okay. <laughs> put a bookmark on us. Fine. I would love to be bookmarked. Okay. I'll bookmark you. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I will. Yeah. I feel like I have bookmarked you. What is happening? I don't know. But let me finish my uh, haircutting story because yes. everybody's really loving <laughs> the content. What I was going to say was he tricked me. Uh, I, I, I showed up. They randomly assigned me to a haircut person. So just to remind uh, yeah. myself even, uh, about, you're telling a story right now about a barber who tricked you. I needed to get a haircut. Okay. I was overdue. Yeah. I went to this place that perfect, normal, decent price range, great location, close by, the place hey, to go. Decent price range in Los Angeles for a haircut. What was it? $200? Hey, you walk in, they go, hey, 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 you, you go to pay for your haircut here in Los Angeles? They go, hey, I'll take oh. your arm and your leg, thank you. Yeah, it was, like, it was like 25 bucks. Hey, sorry I don't have a collection of diamonds for you. Hey, 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 sorry I can't go down to the bottom of the ocean blue and find the whole treasure chest full of pirate scallions. Hey, my, yeah, sorry I don't have that. A Los Angeles haircut cost, they, Barbara. They took credit cards. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I just put it on my Visa card and just... Just I did something. call a place one time here in Los Angeles. I said, I'd love to come in for a haircut. But the, pl the place looked great on, on Yelp. Yep, I loved yep. it. Five I, stars. I, 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 well, four and a half. <sighs> I still trusted them. Had a good energy. I say, I, I say hey, I was, I was, at the time, I was very, very, very broke. I literally had probably uh, $200 in my bank yep. account. And, uh, and I, I was like, hey, how much would it be for a haircut? You guys look great. And she was like, oh, it's just $85. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I said... Well, I'm going to get 85 feet away from this phone call right oh, now. No, I just respectfully I'm, was like, I'm sorry. I don't think that's going to work for my schedule. Listen, I want to apologize because I couldn't appreciate that incredible joke because I was moving the bone spider away from your cord. <laughs> and Andrew, I want to apologize. I think I'm feeling my coffee a little bit and I've interrupted your story. And like I said, I don't love it. But I you feel know. I feel there is no there is no caffeine mode today on the podcast. H2O alarm possible because I do have my cup of water next to me. But I feel well caffeinated. <sighs> I don't feel too jittery. I don't feel like... I, I'm going to get yeah. off track or go down any sort of crazy wormholes today. I feel like pretty tethered. I actually do feel the same way. I don't feel ca like buzzy, caffeine, caffeinated crazy. Speaking Did of buzzing. Well, so, oh, what a wonderful segue. Yeah, I will not yeah. interrupt you. This is great. It's like a, it's like a two-pronged segue because it, it brings us back to the haircutting thing we were just talking about not getting off track. So back to, back to my boy. Yes. So I go in there and they randomly assign me to this person. Okay. And he's like, what do you want? And I kind of explain, a little more thorough than you. I kind of say, like, oh, I usually like it up to here, whatever, yeah. and blah, 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 blah. Does a great job. Does a, like, basically best haircut I've ever got in my life. I'm wondering how this is gonna, can go south. And I said, wow, this is great. I honestly never had somebody, because I usually cut my hair myself, right? Never had somebody cut my hair and do it well. That's why I ended up cutting it myself, because people don't get it. They always want to go too high on the sides, and then my hair grows out, and I look like some sort of, like, porcupine or something. I'm so curious to know, and mm -hmm. I want, I'm not, I'm not uh, derailing yeah, this yeah, right yeah. now, but I really am curious to know how many people stick with the same hair person. Like, I wonder if most people listening to this, because I genuinely have no idea, yeah. if they go, yeah, that makes sense, going to the same hair person. If they go, oh, yeah, I go to anyone as well. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should put a poll. So, <gasps> a poll. Oh, I'll put a poll on IG. I'm going to try it well, right now. Here goes. Look at this. Instagram, baby. You're but, doing it now. Oh. I'm doing it right now. Listen up. Here's the situation. Andrew and I right here, we're recording the podcast. We got Bone Spider, we're on set, and we have a question we want to ask on the podcast. So we're asking you right now, this is a poll. How many of you get your hair cut by the same person every time, or just by a random person every time? Huh? <laughs> is that it? Yeah. Okay, I don't know why it's important to us, or even what we're doing, but I have asked people, and we're going to find out. I'm not going to leave it up for long. I'm just going to leave it up for long enough. I totally forgot the purpose of this, but I will. For some reason, we want to know. <laughs> oh, right. I will finish my story. Because you didn't understand the theory yes. behind getting your hair cut by the same person. Yeah, and, by the, and by the time you finish your story, I bet we'll have the poll results, and then we'll have that to do whatever we want to do with it. Yeah. So, the whole thing is, I went in there, the guy did my hair perfectly. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I want my hair to look like this. Yes. And I'm like, pretty, pretty sure, even for the coming years. Yeah. This is what I want my hair to look like. Okay. Go back to him every once a month or something. Boom. Get it done. Perfect. Proportions are great. Loved it. Feeling good about life. Feeling a weird sense of relief. I don't have to try to do my hair on my own anymore because I always kind of botched it. And then like this person can do it. It's pretty close to me. It's not expensive. My dreams were coming true. So, so I went back to the guy <laughs> like a couple more times. Okay. And I was like, oh, you're a little spotty. 
Oh. It was getting a little spotty. I was like, okay, that uh. wasn't what you did last time. And then like the fourth or fifth time I got my haircut, I was like, hey, man, like um, here's a photo okay. of exactly what I want. And I was like, oh, this would be great. Okay. Maybe he, you know, he just did it a little differently. He kind of forgot what I wanted. Show him the photo. Does my does my hair cuts my hair? Okay, and it's like not at all what I showed him. Oh no, no. <laughs> this is pretty. This is <laughs> go ahead. This is great. <clears throat> it. I so he didn't cut my hair like I wanted the photo to be, and I was like, "Hey man, like why did you go up so high on those sides?" If we called this episode Hair exposing cut. my barber, yeah, and I basically was like, "Oh, well, like why did you do that?" Okay. Like, why did you go up so high? The whole point, there needs to be a separation. There's this thing that I've learned now from a much more competent barber that there needs to be this thing called a ledge on the side of my hair. There's a term for it. Okay. I don't know you why know you're getting saying? sassy with me. No, no, no. I'm just, I'm getting heated up by the situation because okay. this is like basic haircutting 101 apparently. But regardless of how uh, lackluster and inconsequential this story may be, I would like to finish it in a very articulate manner. Uh, and I'm going to try. It's not lackluster. I think it's a wonderful story. I'm on the edge of my seat. Polygraph. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry. He cut my hair wrong, basically. And I was like, dude, you've literally, you've literally done, in my head, I'm like, you've literally done it correct before. Why did you do this? And I just asked him, I was like, oh, yeah. like you went up really high here. I'm like, can you explain that? And, yeah. And I showed him the picture. I was like, oh, I kind of wanted it to be like that. And he goes, well, your hair can't do that. What does he mean your hair can't do that? One crazy thing to say, seeing as how he already did it before. The guy looked at the photo and said, okay, did it differently. And then when I was like, hey, man, why did you do it differently? He said, because your hair can't do that. And I said, okay, interesting. Could have brought it up yeah. when I showed you the photo. And then at the very least, I could have had an understanding. We could have had some type of a conversation as to why you basically gave me this haircut that I objectively don't want. Very strange stuff. Yeah. Anyway. Hey, 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 that'd be like if you went to an ice sculpturist and said, hey, my wife and I are getting married. She's a lovely gal. Yeah. Uh, and she loves Snoopy. I want to surprise her. You know, <laughs> she she loves ice sculpture. She loves Snoopy. Yeah. I was, said, oh, please, can you do Snoopy? He yeah. goes, oh, oh, brother, I can do Snoopy. Yeah, I love yeah, yeah. Snoopy as well. Yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah. Uh, you can do, here's a picture. Okay. Yeah. He goes, uh, come back in a week. You go back in a week. Oh, well. Garfield. <laughs> come on. And there's nothing wrong with Garfield. No, 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 no. In fact, listen, if it was my wedding, I would rather have Garfield. I get it. And oh my, and you serve lasagna. Oh! <laughs> I haven't eaten all day. Don't be bringing up lasagna. What's your favorite kind? My favorite kind of lasagna? Yeah, there's so many different variations. Is it's okay. A... We, we, I'll get back on track. Anyways, you go there. Bookmark it's... witches, bookmark lasagna. Got it. <laughs> Please tweet it. Um, okay. <laughs> well, anyways, did you fight him? <sighs> no fighting. You didn't shove him? No fighting. I got pretty heated, though. Because. I would shove him. The thing that tweaked me the most <laughs> is that he was acting like he was in the right. And I was like, dude. There's like three points here where you're wrong. One, yeah. you just flopped on the haircut because you did it right before. Two, you're being defensive about the physics of my hair, which has been proven multiple times to be untrue based on the fact that you cut it correctly once upon a time. So you're lying now. So you're lying to me. And then and then it's just trying to make me feel stupid. And then I was like, yeah, this yeah. is weird. Now I got to walk out of here feeling stupid, feeling robbed, and having this goofy looking haircut, at least in my opinion, for the next three weeks. You can understand why I got worked up. And I also, guess what? Tipped him the same amount of money because he would notice the difference. And then if I go back to him again, guess what? Even worse haircut. I, now, that is really interesting. First of all, he should have never shaded the physics of your hair. I adore the physics of your hair. They're actually, I would say that the physics of Andrew's hair are pretty mysterious and interesting. And I would even say druid-like, magical even. I have a story right now that is so absolutely insanely inappropriate that I probably should never let it leave my lips. And for some reason, I'm thinking about expressing it on the podcast. That's great. Bookmark that. Uh, which is lasagna, an appropriate story. I'll wrap this up really quickly. Point is, I leave. I'm kind of frustrated. And, I, and the thing is, same thing with the tip, right? Yeah. It's a relationship. I have a relationship with this guy at this point because that's six haircuts in. Interesting. It's just two minutes. So I can't go back there. Six haircuts in? Yeah, like six or seven haircuts in. He just started, he was being really inconsistent. And then wow. I, I didn't have a, that much of an issue with the inconsistency. It was more so when I go in there and I'm getting this sort of weird psychological, like, I'm getting like gaslit. It was like a whole thing. It was like, I don't need this in my life to get a haircut. Yeah, anything. you should leave behind situations yeah, like that. Uh, That's uh, like being on a sixth date with someone and they go, by the way, I live in Nashville. You go, you live in Nashville. Why didn't you putting me in this very weird situation. Yeah, this is weird now. I thought I loved you. Well, that's the thing. That's like that's like doing anything, right? Like yeah. you have an opportunity, and then you do the best possible job that you can, and then not only do you start slacking, but then you start like covering it up in this weird way. Listen, no shade well, to this guy. This is yeah. a shade-free podcast. 
This is a what? This is a shade free podcast. Actually, can I you... said it right the first time, and why are you pretending that I didn't say it correctly? If you play it back, if you play that back, or if people rewind it, you will learn that you did not say it right the first time. You said Sage C podcast. Yeah, this is yeah. a shade free podcast. Is there something crazy? Fine, we'll do it right now. See, it was the same. See, it was the same. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, sorry. I went in there one last time, okay. and I said, this is the make or break moment here. I was like, I'm rallying for this to work. The guy's nice enough. Yeah. Nice enough. I mean, the conversations are like just typical barber conversations, but like, yeah. what am I? I'm not bringing anything to the table either. So it's perfectly fine. Yeah. Location is great. Cheap enough. Okay, perfect. I want this to work. He did it right before. I know we can get back there. You know, if I got to work hard to make this relationship work. Interesting. I'm willing to do it. So I spent like an hour trying to find the most definitive photo I could. And I'm like, that not only is exactly what I want, but the things that are accentuated in the photo is what I need a little bit of. Therefore, even if he downplays it again, I'll still maybe get what I want. It's a whole thing, right? Yeah. Go in there. Show him the photo. I, I will tell you, it sounds bulletproof. Definitively explain. And yeah. I say, hey, man, I think last time you did this. I think the first time you cut my hair, you actually didn't do it. You did it like this photo. You gave him Can the benefit of the this? doubt. You Let thought, me know. Yeah. Go go more conservative with the cut at sure. the beginning. That yeah. way, you know, if it looks like you're going in the wrong direction, we can still figure it out. You, I wanted to work with you, them. You, you thought maybe it was just an off day. Let's go. Yeah. We're going to do this right. Right. Okay. Turns me around and just this feeling. And I understand this is low. This is... Low hanging fruit, very unimportant stuff here. But everybody has their own thing in their life where they're like, listen, I get it. Sounds like a little silly thing to be talking about, dare I say complaining about. But yeah. you know how it feels <clears throat> when you're putting all all of this all of this weight on the situation and then that moment comes where it's like, ha, not even close. Andrew gets really <laughs> uh something about Andrew's personality type is he gets really hyper fixated on these little sort of things that should go right and they can mess with them. They can like really kind of mess with your your trajectory and your mind and stuff. Whereas uh, I think we have such radically different tuned versions of that and it's so funny. We're not doing this whole whole charade. Wait, what of, do you mean? Of, no, no, no. I'm Whoa. not doing this. What's happening? Because you got a bad haircut once. And let me just say, no. I, I heard about it quite a bit. No, wait. Yes, I, did. I didn't get a bad haircut. My hair looks stupid. I didn't ever say that. I don't that. even want to record. No, I, I did not At say At least that. my hair will grow back before next episode. Multiple. Are you serious? Multiple qualms with the haircut. Yes. <laughs> then let's call this episode. There's footage somewhere. Please, can we call this episode Exposing Gear? What? <laughs> Yeah, no, you literally no, but because you 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 wanted it to be long, okay. And someone cut it short, and there was a there, yeah. And it, I and I and I felt like an idiot. Oh, sometimes I, I guess that does happen where I get really self conscious about a haircut. That's one, true. One every I I I feel almost zero yeah. amount of bad about divulging on this very like silly little story because a. A lot of people have issues with their, their yeah. relationship with their hair and their person who's cutting their hair. True, true, true. And B, everybody's got something like this, you know even actually, if it's not the hair. Ooh, got it. Who's got the dreamiest hair that you've ever seen in your life? Who? What? Do, do, do people think that there's a woman with like the best hair ever I'll or, or you, a guy? I'll give you this. I will say I was watching uh, Wonder Woman. Chris Pine's haircut, and that is great. Oh, Chris Pine. Very yeah. flowy, very nice. Yeah. Very good. Nothing to, not to that, not to this. Anyway, point is, point is a lie. I looked in the mirror and I, I, I straight up was, it was, it was, it was, it, it showed on my face at that point. Cause really? I basically was just like, okay, this is over. And there was nothing I could do about it. Also one time that guy, when I got up and I can't believe this was a thing as I got up to go basically pay, he says, this is a true story. This is like on haircut number six when it really started to fall apart. Okay. He says, Oh, have you lost, uh, have you lost some weight? Whoa. And I said, Oh, I don't, I don't think so. He's like, yeah, it looks like you lost some weight. I was like, oh, cool, man. That has aged worse in my head than anything that's ever happened. What if this guy, maybe you guys were like friends in, in junior high and you did something to him and he like, he like followed you to LA. No. He's like, I'm going to mess with this guy. Here's the thing. I'll also say this. That was weird because one, no way was I losing weight at that time. I was like working nonstop, eating awful hadn't seen that any dark time, yeah. any amount of uh, yeah. uh I, I hadn't seen any weight or treadmill no 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 way yeah so that was that was bs and then i realized i realized i was like there's no way that this is a real thing that's happening to me because this seems like out of a really bad movie yeah i was going to tip him i was going to go to the point where i go to pay yeah and i was like are you are you kidding me yeah i was like are you trying to plant this weird thing weirdly also definitively saying that i was like overweight at some point <laughs> yeah, i was yeah. just like dude that was that was That's, weird yeah. also that i don't know point is yeah. weird situation and when i saw it when i saw my the way my hair looked that time 
with everything going on. The weird gaslighting, the weird uh, judgment on my physique. Yeah. That might be one of the most, uh, yeah, you just took us through quite a saga, quite a relationship, Andrew, with this guy. I bet he thought nothing of this. No. I was just another one of those people that just walk in that place. This is what he does. He's, he's a like, monster. He's like, I'm going to give him my all on this first haircut. Speaking, uh, speaking They're going to come back to me because I'm going to give him my card. Speaking of haircuts, brother, let's look at our poll. Um, what I was going to say was, I think most people, oh, oh, wait, don't tell me. Don't tell me the okay. result. Don't tell me I'm no. not going to tell you. No! Uh, Andrew? Sorry, don't tell me what it is. I'm, I'm not going to tell you. Calm down. Did you look at it? No. Good. Don't. Okay. We're going to guess. I'm, I haven't seen a thing. We're going to guess. 87% go to the same people. I'm going to tell you why. <coughs> no, actually. Okay, Tessa Brooks started a live video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> Andrew, are you okay? It's it. <laughs> oh, because sponsorship mode, it's a little different. The air is a little different. Oh. Bre- I- I'm going to burp my baby. <laughs> it just throws up all over the equipment. <laughs> Me when I'm when I was like in middle school. What will I do one day when I'm a grown adult? <laughs> Me, another grown adult burping you. Yeah, we both kind of took an L on that one. Yeah. Welcome anyway, to spon- welcome to sponsorship mode. Look at Andrew. Looks like a handsome nerd, and I look like well, just normal. But I put a tie on my head. Oh, also I have a little uh, lemon. Isn't it nice? Really good smelling lemon. Oh. Own spider snacking on a lemon. No, he's protecting it. Oh, that's actually fun. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, Andrew, last night I had this wild desire for something that I so wish existed. I was dreaming. Oh, what was the dream about? Oh, well, I'll tell you. I was dreaming of a wellness brand that makes it easy to maintain your health goals with a customized vitamin plan that helps you feel your best today and supports you long term. That was a dream you had? Yes. What? Why are you re- looking at your phone? Andrew, I'm not. No, it looked like you were reading you need to every understand, word you no, just said off your phone. You need to understand ah. something, Andrew. That it is February right now. A good time to still be feeling better about daily habits in this relatively new year. And taking vitamins is a wonderful habit. Because did you know that adding a daily vitamin can support your sleep, energy, and fitness goals? Yeah, no, I I agree with everything that you're saying. I don't know why you're... Oh, but where on earth to start? But luckily, I know about Care Of. No, yeah, I know. So do I. Care of makes taking vitamins so painless and so simple. Do you want to know why? The quiz. Yes, Andrew. It's their five-minute online quiz, which intelligently assesses your health needs and gets you exactly what you need in terms of vitamins and supplements and all the good things Woo! that you love. Whoa! Let's this is do what, it! This is what Care of does, Care baby! Of. I've taken my vitamins! <laughs> You see, Andrew and I speak from experience. We use Care-of. We absolutely adore it. It makes taking vitamins and knowing which ones you need to take because of the quiz so easy. I go into vitamin stores and the, the person comes up to me and says, oh, do you need any help? And I go, I'm not here to purchase vitamins. I'm here to laugh at this whole charade. At this labyrinth you're putting what in front of this? me. What is this? Look at all these bottles. Yeah. Give me a break. I'm going to use Care-of. Thank yeah. you. Truly very grateful for that quiz because it really, really makes it easy because the world of vitamins can be very confusing and it is like having a personal nutritionalist assessment your needs. Andrew, this part is completely stellar because we right here right now are giving you 50% off your first order. You just go to takecareof.com and enter code SWEETBOYS50. Andrew, did you hear what I just said? Yeah, 15% is pretty great. Oh, no, no, no. You must because you have to get to the doctor and get your ears checked because I said 50% off your first order. If they go to takecareof.com and enter code SWEETBOYS550, brother, 50% off your first order. Come on. Vitamins, brother. Care of, brothers and sisters. That sounds like an objectively good deal. You're not correct about that. It is an objectively good deal, and people can get it whenever they want. You want to get back to the podcast right now? <laughs> that was a mess. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm learning how to talk. I'm a baby, after all. Back to the podcast before we do something even weirder. Before we keep on being us. Let's get back to us being us even probably worse. Three, two, one. Whip sound. <laughs> Okay. No, what I was going to say is a lot of people I know go to the, the same person. So. And you know what? I don't hold an opinion about this. I'm genuinely this is, curious. This is a, yeah. we, a weirdly fascinating topic because honestly, that type of situation, it's like, I really care about my haircut. Yeah. I really care. So I go to the same person. Yeah. Or someone who says, I really don't care. There's just this guy that I go to who just cuts it really quick. Or this, this, think, there's this girl who just does it perfectly every time. I don't even care. But I do think that's a very like male trait to kind of just like show up at any place and but, just be like, hey, <laughs> you, you have a pair of scissors, right? Cut my hair. <laughs> no, I know. But what's funny about yeah. that is even that guy, who yeah. is that guy? I am that guy. If he found somebody who is 
normal enough, nice enough guy. Yeah. They're just like, oh yeah, I just go to him. Like, like I, don't, true. I don't even know if the haircut's good. It's just good enough. Yeah, and and it, it is lazy on my part, by the way. And what's funny is that, you know, when you were like, no, BS, like you've been affected by a bad haircut. That's true that I have because when that goes wrong, which is very rare, I am disappointed. I'm like, I told, I asked them to do something good and they did something really bad and that, and that makes me sad. But 90% of the time, it's always really good. I would agree. Yeah. It's actually, like, what do you think it's going to be percentage-wise? Because I will say, it's really shocking. I thought it was going to be like 80 plus, 85% same person. It's actually a pretty weirdly graceful split. It's 61-39. No, it's not that, I know it's not that even, but that's more than I thought. I thought you were right, and then it would be like 85 to 90% of people being like same person every time. Uh, 39% of people uh, have the same attitude that I do about this, huh? But if I found the right person, perhaps I would make a change. Well, maybe I feel like my story and my attitude was a little specific to me then because I really thought that was going to be like 85% of people. I don't know. You want to talk about The Bachelor for the next hour and a half? I could do it. I know that you love The Bachelor and I do. I would like to hear Victoria's your opinion. Victoria's gone. Spoiler alert. Sorry. I've Spoiler never... alert. Victoria's finally gone. Like... Let's just say I was thinking that she would get the boot a long time ago. And I ain't talking about when they what they did to my car back in uh, New Jersey. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Um, oh, I saw a really interesting question on Reddit. Uh, I'm a big Redditor, by the way, if anyone, or I know Reddit sounds like one of those things that's like confusing, but it's so not. It's like the simplest thing in the world. Reddit's great. It's a great community where people come together and there's like strange specific subreddits, for instance. Um, yep. Oh, uh, like I'm, I'm into collecting statues and action figures. So there's like an action figure or like a book nook. If no one knows what a book nook is, eh, if you know, you know, if you don't, you don't, it's fine. There's like uh, miniature subreddits. There's all these different things, right? It's a very wholesome, sweet place. Yeah. Um, I imagine there's probably bad subreddits. Reddits, but I don't mess with that. Only wholesome things for me on Reddit. Yeah. But Andrew, on Reddit, things go sort of viral, right? Like there will be posts yeah. that are like, oh, this one's lit up today. And usually it's things that engage the community. And I saw this question oh. that I thought was really cool. Mm-hmm. It said, um, what is a simple question that you can ask someone, either on a date or just anyone, okay. uh, that reveals a lot about them based on their answer? Hmm. I thought that was so interesting. And some of people's takes on that yeah. were really wild. Can you think, not to put you on the spot, but is there a question like that that you think would reveal a lot about someone Hmm. uh, by just asking a simple question? That's kind of like when you go into an interview and they say, tell me about yourself. Because one, what kind of angle do you even start taking when it comes to describing yourself? And then how long do you spend talking about that? Yeah. Yeah. All of that stuff, right? I that is interesting. So so as far as as far as a simple question that would be really revealing, it's interesting. Um I, I once answered that question very honestly. Uh, I used to work at the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> I used to work at the Cheesecake Factory. I had to do the whole job oh. for a long time, actually. Uh, well, a long time for me in the workforce was like eight months. That's like one of the longest jobs I've ever had. I've been canned from a lot of jobs, Andrew. But I, uh, I answered that question honestly. When they said, what's one of your weaknesses? I said, I show up late to stuff all the time. It's like a really bad habit of mine. Pringles. And they, still, they still hired me. What? Pringles. I'm sorry? Pringles. Go on. You said canned. I'm sorry. Andrew, do you want to leave? You can just walk out the door if you want. I'll do the same. I was just thinking about it. (laughs) I I love Pringles. I think subconsciously I was thinking about it before you said canned, and then that like brought it to the front of my mind. Okay, what I was going to say is I think a good question would be... What's your favorite Pringles? Mine is cheddar. (laughs) Ooh, favorite Pringles. They have pizza flavored. Somebody tried to put me on honey mustard Pringles once upon a time, and I don't think I ever ate them, but that sounds like it would be up my alley. But I will say barbecue is pretty good. But listen. Do they have salt and vinegar? Do they have I don't know. What if they did? I don't know, man. Google.com. So, I think a good question to ask somebody because of its interpretation okay. would filter out a personality type or something. Interesting. What do you want to do? Whoa. But just that. But Are just, you serious? Yeah, like, 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 you know, imagine. Imagine. <laughs> okay. Walking in the restaurant, right? There's restaurant music playing. There's a crowd. Oh, wait. Well, restaurant's out. music's playing? Yeah, I'm imagining this is like a Roma cafe oh. right next to Giselle's ice cream shop. So we're at Aroma, <laughs> and we're waiting in line for our food. <laughs> we get our food, sit down. <laughs> Me and my date. I actually just had a moment in my head to where I was like, where am I? What is happening right now? <laughs> Sorry. Wait, so, oh, this is the question of, 
Listen. Just, oh, this is the what do you want to do question. Listen, yeah, so you meet somebody on Raya. Sorry, I don't even know if anybody knows what that is. Okay. Oh, yeah. They, I, I, uh, Raya is the uh, celebrity dating platform. And uh, it's so funny. One time I, I, you know, just for fun, everyone hearing this rolling their eyes when I say, oh, just for fun, I tried to sign up for it. This guy. Because you did? I know. Oh, no. I actually, uh, one time I was waiting. Dude, this is the most LA you thing. You did this? Dude, I was actually about to say something oh, and no my kidding. God. Okay, sorry. This is actually I so actually really want to know about this. I can't believe what was about to just come out of my mouth. Just Don't worry. <laughs> I'm bookmarking my scenario in which I ask the person the question because everybody wants to know how do I apply this very good, smart question yeah. to when I'm at a date, and I'm going to give you an example later. But Garrett has said something that has uh, kind of piqued my interest enough to where I'm going to go ahead and bookmark that as well. So which is lasagna. Lasagna. Yeah, yeah, okay. and, the, uh, and what would you, what do you want to do? That's the title of the podcast. Oh, Which that's, is lasagna and what would you do? That's <laughs> incredible. Um, no, do? the thing is, what's funny is what I was cackling at about the most LA thing I've ever almost said in my life is I was going to say, I was waiting in line for the iPhone 10 <laughs> and I was right next to the guys who made Raya. Raya? 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 You were right next to the guys who made Raya? No, right. Did... It's literally their app. It's like the two guys who started it. It's like their app. Okay. Like, yeah. How did you know that that was them? That seems very... No, well, we were waiting in line next to each other for like five hours, and so oh. we were talking and stuff. And they were like, yeah, we started this thing called Raya. I was like, yeah, I've heard of that. Raya? I'm sorry. Let's just call it Raya. How do you say it? R-A-Y-A. Um, <laughs> not sponsored. Swear. Uh, yeah. Anyways, they were like, oh, yeah, we we have this app, and it's a celebrity sort of dating thing, and whatever. Point is, though, is that's, that's how I found out about it, and it piqued yeah. my curiosity. And so I tried, because they were like, oh, yeah, dude, if you want to get on it, I was like, it's fine. no, I don't. I didn't even tell them what I did or anything like that. Oh, right. And uh, point is, though, is yeah, I tried like several months later because people were talking about it. So yeah. I was like, I want to see if it would work. I, I tried nothing. It didn't work. They, like to this day, if I open up Raya on my phone, the celebrity dating app, Raya. And I wanna, for your sake, it's I think it's Raya. Is it Raya? Okay, yeah. let me see. I'm going to do it right now. R. I still have it downloaded. I think so. I have like a. I'm one of those people who has like a billion apps on my phone. No organization. It's terrible. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah. You're, I got a billion apps, and one of them just happens to be Raya, too. Okay, so your application is currently on our wait list. We are currently reviewing your wait list. We'll send oh, you. It, oh, oh, it didn't work. Literally didn't work. No, no, they, it, and this has, been, this has been since the iPhone ten came out. When was that? Oh, that's interesting. Well, I thought you meant, you meant it didn't work because you, you didn't find a date. No, they just never even approved me, so I guess I'm not a thing enough for you, Raya. I appreciate it, Raya. So I'm on Raya, and I meet somebody. So we go to dinner, and of course, as with every first date, you're kind of learning some, you know, you're trying to learn about the other person. Yeah. I break out the question of, ooh, what do you want to do? Andrew, I want to shake your hand. That yes, was so well done. Yes, we're shaking hands like normal people. I say, what do you want to do? Here's the reason why that question is yeah. so powerful. <laughs> this guy who made this up 10 yeah. minutes ago. Needs it to be the most important Backing thing. it up as, it, he, as if he's written several articles on medium.com about this. <laughs> medium.com. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what do you what do you want to do? Yeah. If that person were to immediately, in an unflinching manner, assume that you meant in their career, that's telling. Not saying it's that a bad thing. Is... I'm just saying you're talking about trying to line up values, trying to line up what you. Uh, that's something there. What if... do you want to do? Well, so okay, I have. Well, an now agent I can't shake who's... the Raya thing because they they would be like, I want to see myself on a billboard, <laughs> like some sort of just. <laughs> I just I just want that. I want people to see me. And you're like, all right, check please. I'm not going to say that it would be better, but it's possible that it could be better okay. than a normal dating app because maybe it's a bunch of people going like, what is this? And then it's almost like someone showing up to a party and just being like, I got invited. Like, what is this? And then a bunch of people going, what is this? As mm. opposed to okay. a bunch of people going, I want to find someone to be with because that, I have my thoughts. Yeah, My thoughts. Well, coming off of last episode, I think we know how little we actually know about, about dating in ourselves Dude, in that context. But I will say- We went there the last episode. If you haven't heard the last episode and you want to hear <laughs> Andrew and I go there, you can check out the last episode. Yeah, it's quite interesting. But but no, but having having listened to that and be like, yeah. okay, I don't really know what I'm talking about. I always want to be pretty vigilant about the way that I talk about my philosophy towards things because they're very subject to change. Sure unlike my opinion of that barber because let's just say we didn't click and I ain't talking about the Adam Sandler movie. And it, wait, no, finish it and I ain't talking what? The Adam Sandler movie. Andrew, what? I, we need to talk about this. We, we can't just, we can't just let that happen. No, I hope that guy, <laughs> I hope Andrew that, was referencing the I, 2008. I, I, I genuinely hope my barber not only is doing well but is flourishing. But, the, 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 the point is, point is alarm. <clears throat> um, Look at I, your handsome sweater. I'm like just now noticing I it. love this cardigan. I got this at, I got this at The Gap, and I got them to you look so take nice. 30% off of it because there's a giant hole. 
Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you can let maybe... me guess the price then. Thirty nine percent off of that looks like thirty percent off. I would listen, say... I didn't ask for it either. I just said, hey, yeah. Um, there's like a giant hole on this. I'm gonna guess, and they were like, oh, we can take thirty. Can I tell you what I think it was to begin with, and then you tell me what it ended up being? I think that was uh uh forty nine ninety nine, and then thirty percent off that. I literally don't know, but sounds right. I think you're right. right. Okay, so the gap is good for basics. <laughs> A sponsored tweet. <laughs> they're, they're like, okay. It's like kind of, yeah, it's not that hypey. It's like true, though. The gap is good for basics, like undershirts and socks and stuff and underwear. I think so. I get all my undershirts from Uniqlo. So if anybody on the Uniqlo team is listening. Oh, uni, uni, Uniqlo? Uniqlo? How do you say it? Not Garrett butchering every brand under the sun's name for 17 <laughs> Hey, hours. you want me to say it right? You pay up, okay? We got, we got, the, I, we the, got they're just like They're just like, no. <laughs> Like someone at you U- already gave us enough promo because people can Google it. Like the way it sounded, it does kind of sound like the name. Someone at Uniqlo headquarters right now. Hey, uh, Garrett Watts, sweet boys, make sure that we never ever give him <laughs> one cent ever. There was something you were going to come back to though. Oh, 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 we need to delete that poll. Oh yeah, after you after you check the updated results, it's definitely gone up more. Barely, no, sixty forty. Well, you know what? Here's the thing: if you asked a demo. Of like between thirty to sixty year old people, yeah, I think it'd be ninety ten. Interesting, because no, here's the thing: because it took me yeah. a long time to find the person. Yeah, I now have somebody. Shout out to Bruce Wigner for for helping me. Bruce find helped this you find your hair person. Yeah, Bruce has always got the most lovely hair. That's what I'm saying. But the thing is, it takes a while. You find somebody. Oh, I like your hair. Oh, go to my person. Blah blah blah. Boom, got yeah. it. But guess what? That don't happen overnight. I am surprised because I went in pretty. I went in pretty thorough with my uh, with my emotional uh, expressiveness towards the haircutting situation. Yeah, and to see the sixty forty, it makes me question uh, how warranted that even was because I thought it was going to be like ninety nine one, and I'm I, like, everybody, the crowd is cheering, the relatability is oozing off of their skin. Oh my gosh, CNN! Finally, someone said it. CNN and Fox News unite. Andrew Sawicki was correct about his poll numbers. BBC. The reason why it went so viral. Yes. The reason why it is. It, 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 it did seem like a unique thing. Well, no, everybody wanted to say it, but no one knew how to say it. Absolutely. And the way he, it's just more so, it's more so the way that he said it. The way his his personal relationship with the barber was so specific, unique, and I think it really transcended just an experience, and it really like bled into the to the, to the nature of the human experience. Absolutely wonderful. Well, we got to move on. But next story is Big Ben still big. <laughs> Have you had that like queued up for like seven years? <laughs> no, did you really? No, no, no. I just thought of it. What are you talking about? I feel like that. Well, I meant that in a good way. Listen, if that's true, I, that's fine. Wh- how would I? It was a good joke. It just seems like oh, some... oh, so me having a good joke can't just happen on the spot. I gotta have it queued up for seven years. I can't do this. I go into your phone and note YouTube <laughs> YouTube video joke <laughs> ideas. When to use question mark? And it's from like 2012. And it's like Big Ben, still Ben, underneath it. I'd have to use this under the circumstance of like me being in uh no. in the UK and somehow like segueing from one thing to another. No, no, no. Like I don't have that on my phone. Like that's not on my phone. It's on my phone. <laughs> that's no. no, no, no. It's not. I was actually on Reddit because I was. I thought it'd be interesting to tell you. Uh, when I'm looking at my phone, I probably should be engaging with people who watch this podcast. But I was going to tell you other uh, what other people thought for that answer of what's one thing you can ask people that says uh, that question is what is a seemingly mundane question you can ask somebody that will tell you a lot about their personality asked by familiar streets i have to credit the uh, op there do you want to hear what other people said is that interesting oh okay did you just get disoriented Sorry, i got confused i thought the whole thing was like this mind-blowing moment of what the m- ultimate question that would give you insight into somebody is asking them what's the ultimate question that gives them insight into somebody your question that you choose yeah. is the answer well wait what, what i got a little turnaround there what do you mean yeah i'm sure that made sense and i'm just didn't ca- catch on inception here what i just did <laughs> above it what is the actual reddit post question well i just read it word for one, word one more time okay uh, um, uh it's by uh user familiar streets asked uh what is a seemingly mundane question you can ask someone that will tell you a lot about their personality is that a question yes Boom. Andrew, that Boom. is so smart. I get it. That yeah. is so yeah, interesting. Right? You should be the president. Wait a minute. You didn't have that mm-mm spider on your head before, Andrew. What are you talking about? You have a spider on your head now. Dude, what are you doing Isn't up here? Isn't that crazy? What are you doing? You could fall. Brother, we're in sponsorship mode at this very moment. Put him back down there. Is he safe? Good now.
Ugh. Safe on the couch. If I had a little pet bunny, he would be so safe, man. I'd protect that little bad boy. Werewolves, coyotes, stray frisbees, nothing would hit my little sweetie. Werewolves? <laughs> I just don't want you to think about a werewolf throwing a frisbee. Think about it right now. Oh, I would throw a werewolf. I would throw a frisbee with a werewolf all day and all night. Because they have frisbees that glow. Oh, Andrew, enough about werewolves and frisbees. I need to tell you something. You see, I want to meal prep and be healthier and more economical with my food buying. But I know I can't have it all, and I hate that so much I could break my arms off and throw them at the wall. <laughs> that's what you're going to go with to depict your emotions about this? <laughs> yes. That, that's a very strange thing to do. Well, that's... Andrew, what other options do I have? Well, there's HelloFresh, literally. HelloFresh? Oh, that's right. Yeah. With HelloFresh, you get fresh, pre-measured ingredients with mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. In fact, HelloFresh lets you skip those trips to the grocery store and makes home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit. Yeah. How could I have forgotten? I don't know. Because we've used it and it's wonderful. I made a curry dish using HelloFresh just the other week. Yep. Andrew, what was the HelloFresh meal you made the other day that you just adored? It was a stir-fry situation and it was, uh, I would not have been able to get there on my own. I love a stir-fry situation. Andrew, you know how there's pros and cons to this life? Well, you better buckle up because I'm going to tell you some pros about HelloFresh. <laughs> Try to keep up. Here we go. List the pros of HelloFresh, please. Andrew, they got low carb. They got carb smart. They got vegetarian. They got pescatarian options. Every single recipe is packed with fresh produce sourced directly from farmers, and it's all delicious. I've tasted it, and I'd never lie to you because you know that I love you. <sighs> sorry, I got a little bit heated there. Oh, Andrew, I'm sorry. That was too much of a ride, wasn't it? <sighs> you know what I tend to do with groceries? I overbuy at the grocery store, and unfortunately, I have groceries that go to waste. That is not a problem with HelloFresh. That's my favorite aspect of them, is it cuts down on me wasting food, which I hate to do. Uh, you, uh, yeah. Because everything comes pre-proportioned. So that is something I absolutely love about HelloFresh. That is my favorite pro, I would say, about HelloFresh. Sorry, I'm sure that you can understand. I'm just a little bit dizzy because of the turbulence of the... Um Pros list. I mean, let me go ahead and tell you the cons about HelloFresh. Let me buckle up. Go ahead and buckle up. Okay. You can go ahead and unbuckle. There are none. That was a smooth ride there. So seeing as how there was no ride. <laughs> <laughs> we have a deal for you right now with HelloFresh that's actually mind-boggling. You can go right now okay. to HelloFresh.com slash SweetBoys10 and use code SweetBoys10 for 10 free meals. 10 free meals. <laughs> Oh, and you were wondering, does that include free shipping? Yes. And again, Andrew, if people want those 10 free meals, they can go to HelloFresh.com slash SweetBoys10 and use code SweetBoys10 for those 10 free meals, including free shipping. And quick little side note to people who listen to this podcast are going, wait a minute, that sounds like Green Chef. Oh, Green Chef is owned by HelloFresh, so you can use both for more variety. And our listeners could enjoy both brands at a discount. How fun is that? 10 out of 10 fun. Oh, I love agreeing with my friend. <laughs> you want to get back to the podcast? How do we get back? Well, I could just snap my fingers like this. <laughs> Oh, that's an interesting one. Oh, this is interesting, Andrew. Someone had the right idea with this. User Johnny Vinyl asked, what would you do if you won the lottery? That is a question that would tell you a lot about someone. <laughs> Answer it, brother. What would you do if you won the lottery? First of all. What? That's an awful question. Well, no, it's not. I'm because shaking my finger audio. you can listeners. win the lottery and win like $100. Okay. And in that case, let's just say Pop-Tarts galore, baby. And of course, I'd wait till they're on sale. You could just that do that tonight. That way I could tonight. strike in the most... Uh, Beneficial way for myself. We're going. We're going. We're going wildberry. We're going uh, cherry. Okay. We're, Andrew, did we're I... thinking about going brown sugar, and then we're going. I had too many of those in kindergarten. We're putting it back in the shelf. Hundred dollars worth. That's like at least at least fifteen boxes of pop tarts. Favorite pop tart. I think I know this about you. You say my favorite. Also your favorite on the count of three, and not one, two, three after, but on three. You ready? Okay. One, two, three. Cherry. First of all, that made no sense. Really? <laughs> Not after three, but on three. One, two, three, and then you say it. Oh, no. You said cherry? I thought yours would be cherry. Oh, we're saying each other's. Yes, each other's. The most confusing thing that's happened in the last <laughs> tw 28 years. Um, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. One, two, three. I don't know what we're doing, and I don't know when we're saying. You have to say the name of my favorite Pop-Tart, and I have to say the name of your favorite Pop-Tart, even though everyone already knows my answer, on the count of three, on the T of three, and this time I'll do it correctly. Here we go. Hold on One, a second. Let me think about this. <laughs> I think in Washington you got maybe... Don't say it. You have to say it on three. No, I'm trying to process it, though. I'm trying to think. <laughs> Oh, okay, all right, let's do it. I think this is inaccurate, but okay. <laughs> I'm just just for something to say, just so this can be over. Or later. If it's inaccurate, I'm gonna freak out. I'm warning you. Well, oh, just, oh, I got, I got. All, uh, so, all quiet. I, I, I think I, I think I know what it is. I, <laughs> I, I just changed it. Since everyone I, knows that my answer is literally already cherry for Andrew, I'll just quietly say it so his can be more prominent. Yeah. One, two, three. Cherry. Brown sugar, brother. Don't say strawberry because I just changed from strawberry to brown sugar. Andrew, you are 100. <laughs> percent 
Accurate. Cool. It is brown sugar. My mother, who I friggin' love, I'm a mama's boy, she, every Christmas, she would put brown sugar Pop-Tarts in our stockings, which oh, seems that's like a weirdly intimate detail to share. She she did that, and that's Wild really berry, though, as well, yeah. sometimes hits hard. If I saw a box of wild berry Pop-Tarts... Uh, on the edge of a cliff, I would, uh, I would, I would go back about uh, 200 yards, which is really far. Yeah, and I would run and I would kick them off the cliff as far as I could, and then I would hope that a bird Sorry. would just squawk them up and then eat them, and then I'd go, okay, at least they didn't go to waste. But there, I would kick them off the cliff. There's something though. I think it's more of a, uh, it, it's a subtle subconscious thing. The nature of the nostalgic look of that pop tart on a plate. Yeah, that makes me go, I want to consume this. But no. I think. Oh, it looks iconic. Cherry. No argument there. Cherry, and um, ch- I think I tweeted about um, wild berry pop tarts. <laughs> well, that, that, and by the way, knowing me, um, if I did kick them off a cliff, if I was like on a camp out or something, and I did that weird specific action, we both know that at like one thirty a.m. I'd be. I can't. I can't. I'd be climbing I, down. I, and- I, I can't wait to go camping with you, and like you kind of are like you're really prepared when it comes to sort of like the sleeping arrangements and the tents and everything. And I'm like, oh, I really appreciate the firewood, blah, but but of course, he kind of just like forgot like. The fact that we need like a bunch of food, so you yeah. only got a couple things, and I was like, ah, I kind of thought that might happen. Yeah. Really appreciate it, but I did get some snack stuff, and I go, oh, well, what kind? Because that's kind of in true kind of mother like fashion. I go, yeah. nah, you're gonna get hungry, yeah, right. So then I get these snacks, and yeah. lo and behold, there's the wild berry, <laughs> and you go, oh, I, oh, out of all the pop rocks you could have gotten, I go, hey. That was for me. I know you don't like that. Uh, you're welcome to yeah. some, but of course, you know, whatever. Yeah. Then, then you get tired of eating the of the peanuts after a while, and then one night, surely yeah. enough, like I'm sleeping in like you hear, another oh. tent, but close enough to where I just hear like, <laughs> and I'm like, 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 what is that noise? And then I get up, and surely enough, oh, no, 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 oh, you, you get up, um, you uh, get, it's not what you think, it's, uh, it's not what you think, and I go, oh, really? Looks like you got hungry. And it looks like you realized in that moment that wild berry pop parts aren't bad enough to ju- to to, to kick justify off a cliff, that. to kick off a cliff. Yeah, that would be you hearing the little the little crinkling of the silver, and oh. then you'd go, "Garrett, are you awake?" And I'd go, "Um," I put on a voice. I go, uh, "Yeah, I am now. What's up?" And you go, "I think there's like an animal going through our food." And I'd go, <laughs> "I'd go, oh, I, yeah, I'll check." Yeah, and then you hear them get set down. <laughs> The idea of a raccoon <laughs> with the raccoon hands, like opening up a wild berry pop tart and looking at it, and go, oh, shriek. shoot! Thought they were brown sugar. Listen, I, you know I'm susceptible to this sort of thing, right? So I had this opinion. I go, oh, berry pop tarts. Oh, I don't know about that. I'd kick him off a cliff. Fact of the matter is that if Andrew was like, hey, I have an extra pop tart. You want one? And he like heated up a wild berry. I'd go, this is amazing. What kind of pop tart is this? And he'd go, berry. Is Barry the one with the purple squiggles on top? Yeah. Uh, the, the pop culture question. Pop tart. Pop <laughs> culture. Weird <laughs> muted alarm that sounds like a pop song. Pop tart. Pop culture question. When it comes to the wild berry pop tarts. Yeah. What color is the pop tart frosting, and what color is the pop tart squiggle frosting? <gasps> That's a good question. The Pop Tart frosting, the base layer, I believe is purple. The Pop Tart squiggle frosting, I believe, is sort of a light teal aqua blue situation. You have got to be kidding me. I would have said white frosting with purple squiggles. Are you serious? The whole thing is purple? White frosting? Yes. Brother, you're thinking of some sort of like special edition, like Shark Boy and Lava Girl, like <laughs> weird. <laughs> no one's ever said this. It's weird. This weird is so, limited run that like nobody actually cared do you, about. Do you know that they just did this pseudo sequel to Shark Boy and Lava Girl, but uh, Tyler Lautner wasn't Tyler Lautner. Taylor yes. Lautner. Taylor Lautner got a fake fan. Name here. butcher number seven. Tyler Lautner was not in it, which is crazy. <laughs> All right. Taylor. Are you serious? Yes. Well, I'm, I'm a, a serious. I'm an, an uh, I'm a Robert brother. <laughs> I'm as serious as an XM radio. <laughs> <laughs> he repeated it. <laughs> right as you were committing to that, I was about to commit to the to saying, "Well, I'm a Robert Pattinson fan, and I have been long before your little vampire trilogy, Stephanie Meyer." <laughs> no, I'm. Kidding. I was gonna say I'm so hungry right now that I don't know if it's just the hunger that's eliciting this desire, but yeah, the idea of wow. vanilla ice cream and just like. Four different pop tarts, like wild berry, uh, sh- cherry, strawberry. I'd make sure the pop tarts all were like a little bit in sync, right? Um, this is the best idea you've ever had. Blended it up. Listen. Oh, and you're listening to InSync while you eat the InSync pop tarts in the ice cream. One time, I literally have to call my mom by the way and be like, "Hey, Garrett's mom is coming into town for a second because she's a flight attendant. She'll be over here for the night." My mom is coming into town, yes, and I should call her because she said she was getting in at seven. But like me, she's not so good with times. Sorry about it, Mom. The thumbnail. Calling my mommy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you put it closer to the... There you go. 
Hey, honey. Hey, mom. What's up? Oh, nothing. I, we're just in the shuttle. I'm on my way to the hotel now. Oh, okay. Well, I wasn't sure if you were in, and I wanted to say that I'm glad that you are, and I love you, and I'll see you in the not-too-distant future. Andrew and I are filming right now. Technically, you're on the podcast right now. Um, oh, I'm on the podcast. I'm on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, there you go. Um, <laughs> okay. Just start saying okay, the craziest you stuff you about you. But I just wanted to let you know the status of what I am doing, but I'll wrap this up soon, okay? Okay, love you. All right, bye, see you. I saw an alternative version of that in my head where she goes, oh, I'm on the podcast. Well, I bet your listeners would love to hear about this story from Garrett when he was in, in fourth grade. So, and you going, mom. bye, mom. Bye, and then you mama. hang up the phone. Yeah. Love you. Hey, hey, don't embarrass me, mom. Hmm. Sorry, that's my mommy. Get away. <laughs> I'm so close to Andrew. Back right now. up at least Sorry, two feet. That's my little mommy. <laughs> She's wacky. Get a back up at least a foot and a half. I love my mom so much. I've never, uh, I've never been in your camera space, really. This is weird. This is weird. Well, I, well, no, I, you know, it's usually, <sighs> usually items. Oh, we both share items in each other's camera spaces. Oh, huge progress for me, Andrew. You know the cookie that I was eating um, for like five episodes that was like so old, the Christmas gingerbread man. Mm. I made the biggest move the other day. I threw it away. I took a few last nibbles, though. You didn't throw it away. Yes, I did. There is a point. That's like saying, no, let me, let me, let me explain to you what this is like. I that's like, that's like me going to McDonald's, <laughs> buying a, buying a chicken nuggets. Okay. Eating nine of them. I'm just going to be smelling Mac does its candle. Sure. Speak. And then on the last one, I eat like half of it and I put it down. And then after four months, I throw it away and I go, I threw the chicken nuggets away. Yeah. It's like, oh, you really just ate them all minus a little piece of it, and then I threw it away. And then in some weird yeah. pursuit of seeming like like better, yeah. I decided to frame it as if I did this sort of like willpower thing and threw them all away. You know, which I is just untrue. I, I understand what you're saying, but I also think because there's it's a lot objectively of, true. Go ahead. Well, I also think that there's a lot of beauty to be said for the eating. fact that the word beauty's made it in this conversation. Go ahead. It's just it's, it's crazy. I listen. I just I don't like to waste food. So if it's an old gingerbread, I mean, last night I committed to eating some very 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 old stuff in my refrigerator. It was dry. And I felt awful afterwards, but it didn't go to waste, and I was proud of that, although it did make me feel very bad. And I don't suggest it for anyone, but I eat very old food. It's physically bad, uh, morally good. Yes. Oh, I got to go pick up my mommy. <laughs> just kidding. I don't actually say mommy. I'm just doing this to make Andrew cringe. Also, technically don't have to pick her up because she said that she already was at the hotel. But... Yes, that's true. My mom's at the hotel. Remember picking up people at airports? <laughs> This, I'm, I'm not kidding. And people are going to be like, we don't really care. Also, we don't believe you. Whatever. Yeah. I don't care. I yeah. just, I'm going to say what I'm going to say. This water. He said what he said. This water yeah. tastes like when you go to the ball game and you get salted shelled peanuts. Yeah. The whole experience of eating those peanuts, liquid form. You know, it's funny. I this, actually, this, is, this, is in, in a co this is coffee. Yeah. So if you ever want that experience... All you have to do is no, go, get yourself, Andrew, no go one. get yourself a coffee, Andrew. drink all of it, minus a few things of ice, let that melt, put water in it from the faucet, and then at the bottom, just give it a little... <laughs> oh, I, it's like, I could feel like my energy levels as you're speaking, just just, just just escaping. Just well, that's plump. good because our sleeping patterns are way off track, oh. and it would be really good to get, get a good night's rest tonight. So me doing that is going to move your bedtime <laughs> up. So I'm going to keep on doing it. So I assume you could add some salt in there if you really want to go crazy. <gasps> Our sleep schedules right now, Andrew and I's sleep schedules are just criminally bad right now. Um, in my case, because I played the new Resident Evil demo on my PlayStation mm. 5 three times last night, I forgot to tell you. Man, I, and I know you did this for a grand total of like three days, but I know I have enough data about myself at yeah. this point to yeah. know that the later I sleep in, the worse I feel in like a long-term and short-term way. The earlier I wake up, I think the better I feel. I may need to just turn into one of those people that wakes up before the sun comes up one day. Uh, can you imagine? No. Oh, that'd be so cool waking up there's sunshine, period. Oh, yeah. And uh, and you and you go, oh, I'm going to grind my own coffee and turn on some music. And you're up in the morning. That sounds dreamy. I know we can do this. I woke up at um, about 12.30. Yeah. Now, granted, I didn't go to sleep till about 4.30. Okay. What were you doing last night? I was cutting my hair. <gasps> and then I woke up and I realized how bad it looked. I cut it again. Andrew, it looks wonderful. Let's cut it again. Okay. 
Oh gosh, now we're looping back to the haircutting situation, of course. <gasps> we're back here. <laughs> I hope people at the very at the very least. Yeah. Some people out there. Yeah. Connected with my haircutting story. Andrew, I think they do. Everyone's the amount, got hair, under, unless you don't, and that's I fine. I understand the amount of shade alarms that probably went off during that, and here's the thing. <sighs> it's not about that. It's not about that. It's not about that. The whole point of the haircutting story is to know that certain things work, certain things don't. Certain things work. In life, you make decisions. You enter into relationships. You see signs. Internal relationships. And I think... When you know something's not meant to be, when something's not meant to be, the world will let you know over and over and over again. Until you find what is meant to be. What is meant to be. So if you could take away anything from my story about my hair dresser person, just know that. You'll find it. You'll find it. It's out there for you. It's out there. And thank your past, and thank your past for showing you the way for showing you to a bright future. The future is bright. It's so blindingly bright. When you cut your own hair at 4.30 a.m. And berry Pop-Tarts are your favorite. The only reason why I'm really glad that happened. Yeah. Is that now? Never. Yeah. For as long as you shoot this podcast. <laughs> Can you ever give me any flack? Yeah. About anything? Yeah. <laughs> this episode has been one of the most... What do you call this episode, Andrew? Well, there's no way that you can say it was the most misguided at all. Because because, well, I don't think honestly, was... when you rank it, it's yeah. actually pretty low on that list. I think that I had a really fun time with this episode. This was fun. We hope that you did have a good time with this episode uh, listening as well. Now, what we accomplished, our guess would be as good as yours. But we love hanging out with you. We love, you know, it's it's funny. Andrew and I kind of, there's an ebb and flow to this podcast because sometimes we sit down here and we are just in it. Like, we are in our heads, and we'll really get there with talking about being a little vulnerable and talking about stuff. And if you want to hear something like that, check out the last episode, um, <laughs> which will be at the end, in a little end screen in this video. Not Garrett, plugging the last episode at the end of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> not me ending the podcast. Not us ending the podcast. That sucked, so. um, yes, Andrew, me doing just that. Because you know what? We work hard, and we, tr and we <laughs> train what some weird thing. I don't know. Um, no, we hope you had a good time. <laughs> <laughs> trying to make I love this moment at the end of our podcast where we try to bring it around to something cohesive something coherent that 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 all took place during the um oh right oh wait okay uh, Ooh. at the end of the episodes from now on I think we do wrap up mode Ooh. is there anything that's uh, on the table what were you gonna say about those night real quick uh it's like it's like a it's like a 60 second thing and if you can't get it in the yes. in the first 60 seconds in the 60 second window <laughs> then it carries over to next episode it's the first thing we have to talk about very weird game that we that, have to okay get I want to say something right now the fact that you just called that weird is crazy because that is a very 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 well uh well laid out well produced and uh dare I say necessary thing and I just think that uh, the fact that you don't appreciate is making me sad. I'm thinking about those words, and I'll be carrying that with me by the time I leave. I'm going to be in my car and be my driving back home and be thinking about Garrett and like my 60 second window wrap up mode idea. And I think that that's pretty crazy because I think that the reason why we need a wrap up mode is honestly his fault in the first place, which is pretty telling because he wouldn't like it because of course he doesn't want it to show that he's the one who's getting the of the day. <laughs> Pumpkin lasagna. Oh really? And by the way, I think you're wonderful. Thanks. You're kind of bulletproof in my head. Pumpkin lasagna. I had a really nice pumpkin lasagna that was so good once. Be honest, I didn't know that uh, pumpkin lasagna was a thing. I didn't know that there were many versions of lasagna. I mean, sure, just sure, recipes, sure. sure. I mean, okay, sure. Things. Yes, of course, it was made from pumpkins. It was absolutely <laughs> made from pumpkins and kale. Okay, we were all we were all in the restaurant, right? We were gathered around it. We were going, "What is this?" Why, right there, was the idea of somebody busting in the door, calling your name, holding a piece of paper? Like, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> that would have made so much. Sense. It was you, <laughs> and I, I know exactly what they're talking about, and somehow you do too. You know exactly what they're talking uh, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I'm like, jigs up, guys. This was fun. Thank you. I got to move to Prague now for Anyways, a couple. Oh, I've been to Prague. Years. No, are you serious? We never talk about Prague. It's been a long time. But anyway, the witches. 
speak that's a nice segue into uh into witches prague because prague is a really ancient cool beautiful magical city my goodness it looks like a level out of a video game that i definitely want to play uh is it a densely populated witch community out in prague there's not a densely uh, there's not a densely populated witch community out in prague unless they're very well hidden underground it's wonderful prague is great uh, as for the you know i don't remember the, where the bookmark was in the uh witch topic but can we just let it go for now and i ain't talking frozen that? I know, I know. Let it happen. Vacuums everywhere are envious. <laughs> They're all having a meeting. They're going. How do we really, get that power? How do we get that much? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um. Uh. Thank you for joining us for this episode, uh, Andrew. That's a really great idea. Your game is wonderful. And wrap up mode. If I was in wrap up mode, I would say yes. We were. I really. We did it. It happened. It already did. It's over. I you miss ran, it. You ran through everything. Oh no. And I talking about the ribbon at the finish line. <laughs> Thank you for joining us in this episode. We hope you're well. We hope you're uh, having a good 2021. I feel good this year. I feel like a, this is a good 2020. I'm liking this year. Andrew, you liking this year? A little early. All right. Well, you know what? I'm staying optimistic about this year so far. I really like it. It's got a good vibe. It's got an interesting new th- new things kind of vibe happening. Garrett has to go pick up his mom, and, uh, I, and I have to go make a uh, Pop-Tart milkshake. So. What if I got lasagna with my mom? That would actually sound like a really nice time. And I, my parents were here. I had oh. lasagna with them, and it was like really nice and fun. So I think you should go ahead and do that. I will. So he's going to do that. I'm going to do that. And uh, we hope that you uh, do whatever you're going to do, and you have a nice time with that. <laughs> oh, take yourself on a little date right now. That'd be so fun. How fun would that be? Fun. Thank you. We, 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 we've appreciated your presence, and uh, we yes. look forward to... Uh, seeing talking to you again next week in the meantime if you have any thoughts ideas questions if you want to respond to anything that we talked about here in the comments in down the below comments we respond to hundreds of comments by the way. love the comments huge comment stand so please throw your thoughts in the comments we don't have a question for you necessarily but throw your thoughts in the comments talk to us about whatever the heck you want until next time be sweet and we will see you next week <laughs>